This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Adrian Whitsett. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. The Hamilton County Coroner is working to identify human remains found in a wooded area near the University of Cincinnati. It said it could take weeks to identify. Police say it's unclear right now how these human bones ended up in the area just off West McMicken, but neighbors told WCPO 9 News that this wooded area had once been occupied by those experiencing homelessness. Several communities will recognize Juneteenth for the first time this weekend, including Madisonville, Gulf Manor, Dayton, Kentucky, and Norwood. Juneteenth Jazz in the Park will be at Victory Park in Norwood from 6 to 8. You'll find a jazz concert, a flag raising, poetry, and song. Flag raising is actually tomorrow morning. Anyone, though, can come and participate in all the events for free. And today, Coney Island will try to set a world record and you can be a part of it. They will try to set the world record for the most people down a water slide in 24 hours. It all begins at noon on that green slide. You see there as part of the twister. They will keep the park open for the first time. Also for the full 24 hours. They have never before done this in the park's history. Jen will still be warm. It will still be humid at least to start, but we will see a breakdown, especially in humidity for this afternoon. Our high though today still makes it to around 88 degrees. There's also though a storm chance coming in right around midday. It's due to a cluster of showers and thunderstorms that this morning was out in Illinois, so it's got a lot of ground to cover and we'll see exactly where it tracks. But some of the newest weather models coming in have it maybe as far north as Cincinnati as it pushes through and goes east along the cold front and that front. I mean, it's just here for a little bit of time, maybe from 11 a.m. to 2 o'clock at the latest, and then it's out of here. Then your dew point starts falling. The sun comes back out, and yes, it'll be 88, but it will just feel like 88. Isn't that a novelty? Like, no big heat index, so that'll be great to see. Uh, temperatures over the weekend, though, definitely going to break down and turn cooler and more comfortable. Saturday's at 77. Father's Day is only at 80.